There's multiple ways you can play PT in this matchup. It's not just one. They're gonna run the match. There is the uh, obviously campy way, but if you play correctly, you can run at Sonic sometimes. Yeah. It's gonna be very hard though. Going to Town and City's first stage and see how yeah. this starts. So going into this match, Sonic's really gonna try to stand back a little, try to get a read. Uh, a lot of these first sets are just feeling each other out, first games, trying to see habits, catch a lot of those things, and Sonic is really good at that part of the game, as he's not very committal in any way, shape, or form. Oh, yeah. You can see immediately, is he dead? He's dead. Dang, that was really yeah. fast. <laughs> Beef is showing off. Yeah, he's running him. He's not taking it completely slow. He's, he did a down air. He's jumping off the spring. He is really kind of showing off what he can do at the moment. Devin is going to see if he can counterplay this. Yeah, it's just Sonic's ability to maneuver across the screen. It's doing him well. Also, just, you know, destroying off ledge. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a big weakness. One thing Squirtle might be great at comboing. Not the best at recovering sometimes. You're going to see that up. You're not going to do that much after a minute. And it, you can definitely tell that because of that little stage off interaction. You can see, and you can see Beast going off stage, trying to get that gimp like he did beforehand. He wants to kill the squirrel before that squirrel can turn into Ivysaur and kill him like right now. Yeah, so Devin's going to obviously be looking for a little swap. Squ squirtle not with the most kill potential in the game, as we all know. But mm -hmm. also, I feel like it's going to be really hard to catch Sonic with Good. any of the Pokemon trainer killing moves. Now looking back on... Looking back at Beef, there's this Ivysaur. You're gonna see a lot of off stage from Ivysaur. You're gonna see probably a downer coming soon. Good away, misses the downer though. Still trying to get Beef off stage. It's gonna be kind of hard to get uh, a Sonic, obviously, because his recovery is very good and very non-linear. But it looks like Devin's gonna try to do that with the Ivysaur. Hasn't worked yet, but even then, Ivysaur has insane kill power. Can probably kill the top at the moment. Switching to Charizard, he's even crazier kill power and much more livability. Let's see how Beef counteracts this. Yeah, and as the game progresses, Beef seems to be less and less on Devin. He seems to be more and more, let me just keep my lead, let me yep. stay on this platform, platform Ooh. camp a little bit, and throw out a kill move when he makes a mistake. Like he there. no longer has to commit. Yeah, Not that he had to commit in the first place, but now he's very zero commit. You don't have to commit when you're Sonic and you're in the lead, which is what he's showing. I don't need to do anything. I'm just going to wait for him to do a dumb thing. Just like... You know what, he have a Charizard, which is like jump in front of him and just F smash them. And he seems to be riding his lead pretty well overall. Let's see if Devin can make a comeback. Squirtle. It's interesting of Devin's choice not to switch at this high of a percent. I could see the uh, like the reason of like, Squirrel does have kill power. Oh my goodness. Squirrel can kill, but it looks like I, Beast knows how to avoid getting killed by Squirtle. Good back throw, though. That's what he was looking for, probably. And now sure. the combo start. If Devin can get this combo, we're going to see a lot of damage. And maybe a little bit of a comeback if he can get it. That being said, he's at 90%. Good fair. Off he's going to be looking for a grab and F tilt. Anything to get the Squirtle train like starting. But this, this Squirtle train will not start. The train just, is stuck. <laughs> Beef is just too busy just, you know, living on any side of the stage that Devin is not on. Oh, yeah. It's smart what you're supposed to do. Sonic can run, run away, run away, run away from PT when he's in the lead. They're not slow, but they're not faster than Sonic. No one's faster than Sonic. Uh, You're going to see Beef. Beef is not here. It's going to, yeah. Trying to close this out with the two frame. Any sort of thing. Just throw everything on the wall. Yeah. Right now, Devin's got to be thinking, let me see if I can get some habits for the next game. Because yeah. making a comeback against Sonic of all characters is not a very viable option. People have said before that Sonic is the best character in the game when he has a lead. And you can see it right here. It's hard to get back, come back to Sonic for a few reasons. Main one being how fast he is. He can just run away and not approach. And since you have to approach him because you are not winning, he can just add damage and add damage and never stop. And it just keeps going and going and going and going into itself. Yeah, and it's not often that you see top players or best friends with the timer, but Beef is one of those who is. Oh, yeah. Good far <laughs> tilt. Good little reaction. Good little uh, intro yeah. get up timing. That was a good game for Beef. Good game one. 1-0 one -oh for Beef. Devin's got to be thinking everybody gets one. Everyone gets one? Yep. They do. I mean, it's the first game. Uh, that first uh, like SD miss tech was the big was the big issue, and if he doesn't miss tech, it'll be a lot closer. Might even be Devin favored. We're also, see if he game. didn't get hit, it would be a lot closer. Yeah, as like well. there. Yeah, he died like 40 because of the uh, upbeat, which yeah, it kind of sucks. But you, if you are trying to win, you gotta take the mindset. Okay, this just happened. I'm gonna wipe that out of my memory and just go to the next game fresh. There's in the scenario. Sonic is <laughs> Sonic doesn't lose any sort of movement off stage. Oh no. 
He covers half of it with a forward air or a back air. Mm -hmm. Anything. That's Anything that he can throw at this man, he will. That being said, I will like I do want to say Devin did a pretty good job of avoiding getting Edgar and after that 40%. He kept hitting Beef before he could hit him, which is gonna be big, especially on that stage and especially on any other stage coming up. Because you getting get by Sonic is a really is the main way Sonic kills at early percents. He's not gonna do a crazy burst option. He's gonna spin dash forward air, kill you at like 70, especially on that stage. We're gonna see where Devin goes. We're gonna see if Devin switches character. I don't know if that's necessary in this scenario. He did do a pretty good job Battlefield. Well, seeing Good. as he's dying off stage, I'm not sure PT can do too much more to, especially against Sonic, to do that. He's burning his double jump a little early in a lot of these circumstances. He's just wasting his resources, and he probably needs a character that somehow can take neutral away from Sonic, so he's not in that position in the first place. Yep. Because the best way to counter place disadvantage is by not going into it. And Battlefield, you do have those uh, those triplats, these platforms just to run around. That might help Sonic a lot, but it also might help him not die, because the platforms you can now land on, and it might screw with the recovery, going through the platforms, going up top of the platform, getting on top platform. It will help recovering a little bit, and especially being a big escape, he's not going to die extremely early anymore, which is going to help if he decides, Pokemon I want to go Charizard and just never die. So going with the Pokemon Trainer again, yeah. a comfort pick. Probably he's trying to figure out something in the last matchup. Uh, it's weird, because Beef really doesn't commit to moves until after you've moved, which is a Sonic staple. And that's oh, why yeah. you saw so many hits happen so early, and the later the game on, uh, the game went on, the later, the less hits there were. It just, you know, it's Sonic things. He did Sonic things. Right now, you see him doing Sonic things, a bunch of up airs on Battlefield. He is kind of running at him. Not completely, but he is not being the camp man that we just saw. You know, the man who's playing super patient. He's kind of running at him now, that it's near percent. See if... Devin can capitalize. Looks like he's going with Charizard. It looks like he might this miss is, the forward tilt a little. This is an off-stage scenario. Let's see. Ooh. And a roll in automatically resets neutral, and bam, you're in the blender. Yep, this you're in the blender. <laughs> oh. Good yeah. ass smash. Mm. Good ass smash. So here's the thing. You're talking about how his committal, uh, committal play style is doing a lot of hits on beef, but also it's leaving him open for a lot of punishes. Sonic is a character that is known for punishing mistakes. Don't engage with Sonic. Don't throw out moves, but at the same time, if you don't do that, he still wins. So yeah. there's got to be a good balance that you have to learn. And right now, I think Beef just has a better understanding of it. Beef, yeah. There, it, there's a little more... I don't know if there's more PTs than Sonic's in the air. I do know PT is a lot less common nowadays, and I know Sonic is a lot more common nowadays because of the Wi-Fi area. And I also know Beef knows this matchup. There's a few people who go to GU like Takoon who know who play PT, and he plays them pretty often. He does know this matchup. I don't know if Devin knows it as well as Beef does. And you can see him now looking, using Battlefield to his advantage. He's staying up, jumping around, like baiting him playing on platforms. Right there, that spin dash went on top of the platform, jumped off the platform immediately after. He is running loops around Devin right now, trying to just waste time, make him make a mistake. It seems to be working again. Yeah, you can't get impatient about Sonic, but you also, you can't have too much patience with Sonic. So, you know, it's just not a lot you can do in a situation like this. And you can see it's three stocks to one stock again, and Beef's going to do what he did the last game. Slow it down a little. Slow he's it down. He's comfortable. Just got to do with your Sonic. I mean, it's worked the last game. Why is it not going to work now? I do like the Ivysaur switch, though. It's going to be probably better for kill power. Also, I know Squirtle is the best for, like, combos, but I don't... Ivysaur is pretty good at comboing, too. Ivysaur can definitely get some damage on the board, but whether yeah. or not that damage is going to be enough to take a one stock and also a kill deficit? No. He's going Charizard now. He really wants this kill right now. This is the cheese character you want. Oh, this is what you want, yeah. I think we've all watched like sets where like PT kills you at 40 and wins from reverse three stock. Charizard back air is infamous <laughs> for its early kill potential, back throw, back air. Setups like that will definitely kill early, but Beef is also probably aware of this. Oh, yeah. I would say so. Also, Go and switch him back to Squirrel. He wants a low percent thing, but is that better in this scenario? Do you want just like the burst option of killing? Seems to be coming off stage. Double fair. Just runs in the middle again, giving Beef back on stage. I understand it is very scary. Uh, Sonic off stage is not easy to hit. But even a little bit of pressure might help a little bit more as Devin's on his last stock in winners. Oh. Bo Going for a little cheeky setup there, trying to get that up air into God knows what. Beef Doing does. Good. Beef does. Beef knows a lot right now. He's just scared. Look at him go. He's just narrowing in place. Yeah, and you're going to see, mm -hmm. he's, he, he's done, he's done. He's like, I played he's the game here. for 30 seconds. That's a little bit too much. I'm going to stand <laughs> back. I'm, I'm going to do He's doing a smart things. thing. I respect it. It's oh, really good. Totally. Do what you have to do to win. Please do. It makes things much more entertaining. Oh, my goodness. He's going for that. 
I will say it's got a little closer than last game. The Ivy Star needs to be doing better overall. That was a weird spin dash. But it's Sonic with the lead, and as long as Beef doesn't play impatient and doesn't try to go, I don't know, for like a epic yeet smash clip, <laughs> it's, I'm not sure how much more of a comeback Ooh. you can make here as Good Beef good drives guy. him to the upper corner, and he guesses right, but the clash. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh, good up, Crickerby. That was a really good nair. And now it's last stock, last hit. This is possible. Charizard max rage. He's going back to Squirtle. Going to Ivy Star. Okay. This could that could have perhaps this? been the calm before the storm. And right now, Devin can be the storm. Devin could do this. We've all seen this before. Charizard kills at like 50 because it's Charizard, and he's crazy. Razor Leaf camping. Very Something smart. that was very utilized in early ultimate, but not as much anymore. Good double whip. Nair, it's not 50%. This is kill percent here. If he switches to that Charizard, this could be the game. Let's see if he's going to stay Ivysaur. Gets the fair. He's got to switch into Charizard for the back air. There's only so patient. Oh, that yeah, was so that's close. It. And that's a victory for Beef. It is, but that I don't know if that was SDR or just the game being the game, but that up air, he almost got out and almost could have gotten him there. Very lucky for Beef to keep on. And also, good job for not choking and keeping a good little lead. Yeah, there's a lot Beef did right. Oh, yeah. In order to establish himself in this position where oh, he can play that. this patient game, he needs to win a first interaction or at least don't get damaged. As soon as you get touched, then they have that little bit of information that, hey, this guy's going to come in. This guy's going to have to hit me at some point. Yeah. If they don't have that, then you have the whole game on them. I also want to say for all the game, Beef is really good at killing. Like, you see, besides that last stock, he killed him, like, before 100, I think, twice like that. Oh, Charizard yeah. at 105. That was why you could camp that hard. Look at that. Mm, that was with back Very air. good job. Very good job just, like, killing a character that's kind of hard to kill sometimes, especially with the Charizard. With the, maybe not as much Squirtle, but I would even kind of hard to hit because it just he's just a little small, and he's yeah. kind of heavy. Just good job killing that, and good job keeping the lead and not panicking when he went on his last stock and closing it down. Definitely a... Uh, a matchup that's probably been seen more than once before. Oh, yeah. Two very popular characters, and Beef just Beef just played it well. Hmm? Nice. Okay, what are we gonna? <laughs> next, <laughs> next is gonna be Toxic and Gold.